All right, it's Monday, which means it's time for our weekly box office report brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. Coming in at number one for the second week in a row is the Matt Damon film The Martian. The film took in an additional $37 million to bring its two-week total up to $108.7 million domestically, roughly the same as its production costs, $227 million worldwide, and only dropped 32% from its opening weekend. Coming in second spot for the second week in a row is the animated film Hotel Transylvania 2, making $20.3 million. In the number three position is the Peter Pan film Pan, making just $15.5 million on its opening weekend, well below its reported $150 million production budget. In fourth place is the Robert De Niro and Hathaway comedy The Intern, making an additional $8.8 million, crossing the $100 million worldwide mark. And rounding out the top five is Sicario, making $7.5 million. John, what stands out to you in this week's box office report? Uh, two things really stand out to me. First of all, we'll go with the positive stuff which is the Martian Martian only look we say in here hey, if a movie can drop like 45% that's a great number you don't want to see the 55 to 60% range 32% drop that is great word of mouth that is great marketing that is just the sign of a great movie and the Martian is completely a great movie if you haven't seen the Martian yet I don't think any of us at this table can recommend it highly enough just go out and see the Martian but I, I mean the story here is the unmitigated no way around this you can't play with words flop uh, that is Pan, a hundred and fifty million dollar film that lands fifteen million. Now, about a week and a half ago, the numbers started to look grim. They knew this movie wasn't going to open strong. They were projecting it to hit around the mid twenties, and it came in even lower than that. This look, Hugh Jackman is fantastic. Peter Pan is a beloved franchise. Visually, the film looked really interesting. Something completely turned audiences off of wanting to go see this thing. Like something made, there was a bunch of small things that would turn a couple of people off, but something turned the larger movie going audience in mass off. I can't really put my finger on what that was, but I mean, the 15 million, this is a. This is, this is the type of result that could sink smaller production companies. They would just sink them anyway. Mark, what stands out to you about the uh, What office? stands out to me is the fact that uh, almost double the amount of people that saw Pan decided to see Fantastic Four that opening weekend. <laughs> and we talked about how bad that movie was. Mm. So I can't imagine what Pan is like. I didn't get a chance to see Pan. It didn't really appeal to me. And it appeals. It appears like nobody else really wanted to see it either. Because I think that maybe they didn't know what audience it was for. Was it for kids or was it for adults trying to recapture some youth where something like the martian where it has a huge opening weekend and i think that that expanded to more audiences that people realize this is a good film to take your family to this is a theater experience that you should want to have and then i looked at the walk because the walk is a movie that was expanding from imax into mm. into more theaters and it barely cracked the top 10 and i i really enjoyed the walk and i think that's another movie that you want to go <laughs> see in the theater if you see it at all so those are the things that stood out to me but yeah pan it's just it's such a disappointment i don't want to see the movie and i feel bad for it yeah i think they should change the name to panned because <laughs> that, that would be a little more truthful everyone i've talked to said they hated it and then no one went to go see it so i mean i i think it was a bad marketing decision for them to push the release of pan remember it was going to come out like seven months film. ago yeah and uh they had all these trailers out and i was ready to see it then and then they kept releasing more trailers and it got pushed and i think I think it was like one of those things where everyone was like, what happened to that movie? Oh, it's out now mixed with it's not that, you know, critically acclaimed of a film. So that equals ba bad word of mouth and critics giving it the thumbs down is like the kiss of death. And certain, you know, no one's like, plus you have a lot of other amazing films playing. You have Sicario, you have The Walk, you have Black Mass, you have Martian, you have just Transylvania. You have all these other decisions to, to make. And if someone's like, ah, that movie's not that good. Or if it's just not hitting on any of like anybody's, you know, it's just no one wants to go see it, obviously. Well, I don't want to crush a movie either for its, its marketing <laughs> campaign being a little skewed because I like when movies appeal to more audiences than just one demographic, but Pan coming out, and if you want to take your kids to that or you go with a safer bet, clearly that's what parents did, and they took them to see Hotel Transylvania right. 2, yeah. which again beat Pan. That is that is shocking to me. Do you? Let me throw it to, to both of you guys. Here's a question I have. Is this result of Pan, is this a situation where 
there was something in here that really turned audiences off? Or was it there was just a lack of anything to turn audiences on and make them want to go? I, I, I'm, I think I'm on a different side than a lot of people because I never cared that much about Peter Pan. Like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. He goes to Neverland. I don't like the movie Hook that much. I was disappointed when I saw that as a little kid. I don't care about Peter Pan. Everybody else was acting like, oh, yeah, pa Peter Pan is back. This is going to be a huge movie. I just never really saw what the <laughs> appeal was. You know what? I'm with you on that. Like, I wasn't a big, like, freak out Peter Pan. I was just, When I was a kid, it was played by a girl on television, so that's the only thing that was Mary like, Martin, baby. Yeah, I was always like, it was played by a woman on TV. Um, but yeah, I was never like, when are they going to do the ultimate pan movie? I never felt like, well, <laughs> finally it's here. But in the same breath, I thought those uh, those trailers for it were really interesting. And I was, especially like a year ago when they started dropping them, I was like, this could be a really fun film. I just think for myself, it was like, oh, it's finally out. It felt like anticlimactic because I was told it was going to come out at one point. And then literally, um, I think it was a month before it was supposed to come out, they pulled it. Yeah, well, that's why Batman versus Superman is going to fail. <laughs> I know, I'm, right? I'm kidding. I know. That <laughs> happens. But there's there's something like that that's already built in. It's a built-in worldwide audience. Yeah. Something like Pan, it was like, it's already like had this weird, unique take on it. Everything looked different and strange. So it was like, it was really, you know, anchoring itself on being a different and unique approach to Pan. I just, you know, I'm going to see it eventually, so.